power factor correction and capacitor size calculations for single phase systems. A factory has a large 100 kilowatt motor operating at a poor power factor of 0.75. Calculate the size of capacitor in KVAR needed to improve just this motor's power factor to 0.95. Let me explain the problem. Power factor represents the fraction of power we actually get useful work done from the given apparent power. Currently, our motor converts only 75% of the apparent power into useful mechanical work. The remaining power goes into maintaining the magnetic fields necessary for the motor's operation, our reactive power. By adding a capacitor, we aim to improve this efficiency to 95%. Think of our motor like this. Its windings act as giant coils, inductors that create magnetic fields essential for operation. But these inductors have a special effect. They make the current wave lag behind the voltage wave, like a runner falling behind in a race. This is where our capacitor comes in. Capacitors have the opposite effect. They make current lead ahead of voltage. By adding just the right size capacitor, we can bring these waves closer together like helping our runner catch up to the right pace. Let's write down what we are given. So how do we find the perfect capacitor size? Here's our plan. If the, the initial reactive power is Q1 and the final reactive power is Q2, the size of capacitor's reactive power we need, QC will be equal to the Q1 minus Q2. So we have to find the reactive values Q1 and Q2. To find the reactive powers, there are several methods. Let's draw the power triangles. We already know one side, our active power. With this known, we just need one more parameter to solve the entire triangle. Fortunately, we have power factors for both scenarios, 0.75 and 0.95. Since power factor equals the cosine of the phase angle, we can work backwards to find our angles. Once we have these angles, we can calculate everything else we need. Now let's start the calculations. First, let's calculate the phase angle phi 1. It is 41.41 degrees. This angle represents the phase difference between voltage and current before correction. Now calculate the phi 2. It is equal to 18.19 degrees. This is the desired phase angle after correction. Since we have two parameters of the power triangle, now we can calculate every other parameter. Let's calculate the initial reactive powers for both cases. Q1 is 88.2 kilovolt amperes reactive. This represents the reactive power currently consumed by the motor. Q2 is 32.9 kilovolt amperes reactive. This is the reactive power that should remain after correction. Now the final step, we can calculate the capacitor size. Q1 is 88 kVAR and Q2 is 33 kVAR. So the QC is 55 kVAR. We need a capacitor bank rated at 55.3 kilovolt amperes reactive. This clever device will act like an electrical spring, storing and releasing energy in just the right way to bring our power factor up to that efficient 0.95. I hope this real-world example has helped strengthen your understanding of power factor correction. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. For a deeper dive into reactants and power factor fundamentals, Make sure to check out our previous Power Factor video. You'll find the link right below in the description.